Hello everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and today we're going to be setting up my airbrush uh, system, or station, um, well the initial parts of it. Anyways, um, I have on the floor, just over here, uh, things like my holder, obviously the main thing here, I also have a spray booth, and filters, and things like that to be uh, to be utilized. So, with that in mind, let me pick up my drink I'll show that fell over. We're gonna open up the combo kit here. Hopefully, I don't need a knife or anything like that to open anything. Stop. Do not return do not return this item to your place of purchase. Call us directly. Okay. So this is just the link to their cleaning stuff. A registration card, because that's a thing still. And then quick start guard, how to hold it, etc. 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 Okay. Okay, here is our braided nylon hoos. The actual Grex kit itself, or the actual airbrush which looks like it was really heavily shrink wrapped. You can actually see a bend in the plastic there. And I actually do need a kniff to open this thing. So grab my uh, trusty Ryobi Exacto knife here. I want to cut into a spot where I'm not going to scratch or anything. Down there. Never mind. Pick a different spot. <laughs> the spot I just cut didn't really do much. There we go. Very paranoid. I'm always the type that will put the protective cap back on my X-Acto knife before I do anything. That hurt my ears. They really shrink wrap this thing. No, with a soft plastic too, it's like a really hard plastic. So when we do that, oh yes, very nice. And there's a shipping plastic. Yeah, sorry about the focus there. Let's also turn off my screensaver. So I can see. What I'm doing. I'm going to say none. Thank you. Yeah, so there we go. So that is the actual um, this is a little tool we get with it, obviously, to do cleaning and stuff. Obviously, the gun itself. A couple of different pots. They got some heft to them. It's like a regulator. I'm actually kind of scuffed up. Nozzle. 
And then the actual gun itself. Now I'm actually writing it, so I'm going to switch over here. And actually, it's pretty nice. Actually, builds pretty good. It's going to be interesting to uh, to wash, but overall, good. You know, feels feels nice in the hand. Put that down for now. And then we have the compressor itself. Now I will say this: this compressor is tankless. Um, so whenever you hit the button to turn it on, like to put air in, it probably takes a couple, like a second or two. Well, that's a little spot to store right here. Interesting. So I didn't notice this earlier. It's got a little storage spot for your actual air gun. But I actually have one to fit in right here. Nice, very nice. Pull to adjust. Push to lock. Okay. I'm assuming that's going to break. That's regulating the air pressure. Yes, it is. Plug on off switch. Okay. So my plan is actually to have it underneath my desk, so it kind of. Ruffles, it ruffle, uh, helps kind of show, you know, hide it a little bit. These are screwed in. Okay. So now we're going to just go and put this down below where it's supposed to be, where we're going to get it to sit here, which is on this piece of cardboard. Nice. I'm just going to sit it there, take the plastic garbage, put it over there. Okay, so that is the actual airbrush. Now here comes the fun part. Put the hose there. First thing we're going to do... Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to put together the, uh, the station. The airbrush station itself. So I got extra filters. Oh, I have this thing. Oh, made in China. Good to know. Rare. So we're gonna open up this puppy and take a look as well. Make sure I actually got the right thing sent to me. Yep. Okay. It's on the ground. Got the instruction manual. Which I like that's actually in the little sealed pouch. Which is really nice. Spirit booth. Shows you all the parts. Okay. Main product, air hose, turntable, LED tubes. And the product is, whoops, folded. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do here is a little cut or a time lapse if I don't hit this goes slowly. Okay.
this packaging is not the best. seeing something of concern. Um, it's supposed to have three LEDs. And as of this moment, I'm only seeing one, which is this one right here, which goes along the front. Um, that is concerning to me. Oh, the other ones are in here. Okay. Very nice. Um, okay. So this is six feet. It's actually going to be going up and then over. Perfect. Gonna keep making sure I don't want to get my son. So that will just go over there for now. This looks like it just pops on. Good there. Yep, these are the LEDs. Perfect. Okay. So one of the reasons specifically why I got this model and compared to the other ones was two reasons. Reason number one, it vents at the top. So I can actually brace it right up against the back of my wall here. A little rubber gusset. So this is for obviously going right here, I'm assuming. nice rubber gusset. I like that. And then it's got this as well to tighten it. That's pretty good. But the other reason was due to the amount of lights. Um, I liked the ease of putting it together as well so far this is actually pretty pretty simple and I am noticing one thing that I'm trying to figure out it's how do the lights turn on how do the lights connect That's going to be interesting to figure that out. Look, there's these little plugs here. I'm assuming... Hmm. Ah, they plug in down there. So this one plugs in like so. This one plugs in like so. And then this keeps it in place. And what you do LED goes down. So I'm assuming that 
Goes like that. Okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. There's a little spot there. And a little spot there. Okay. When you look at it, this just snaps in. Wow, actually that's... So, once again, I have not looked at any of the instructions. But... Yeah, it's actually that simple to put together. There we go, done. <laughs> Um, line up that one, then we line up the one in here, then we just take the power, which I will leave for now just a little, you know, So it looks like the wall mount, which is actually going to be going into a fuse enhanced um, power bar. Down below everything. It's good to know. I'll plug the compressor in a little later. Just looking at the distance the wire has to go here. My desk. Come up. What's that? actually pretty bright. Um, huh. Let's check to see what that's going on. Then This is two. That's got some puts to it, I'll tell you. But I like it. So the lights are basically on or off. That's it, there's no middle uh, or high. Lots of arm reach, like, I'm not a small guy by any means, but I can get things in really well. I'll have to find something to cover that up so I don't get paint all over it. Or like, because I think these things you can get for replacements for like four bucks. And even then, it's just the top you would replace, right? So what I might do is actually replace it with a piece of wood that uh, is just distant enough. I've got replacement filters for this as well, which is good. Yeah, there we go. The uh, airbrush system is all set up. Um, I'm minus running the pipe, which, let's see if I can run this up a little higher here. Do, 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 do. So the plan is to run it up this way. Hey, I can see myself. And then up and around and then up and over. And then I have, as you can see earlier, I don't know if you can see it. 
but yeah, I've got my washer and dryer over here. So I'm going to tie into the dryer line with a pipe, a two into one pipe with a little um, gusset where you can close it and aim it. And the plan is to, whenever I'm actually using the airbrush, is to turn it to um, to block the dryer so you don't get any of the smell going into the dryer. Um, but yeah, I'm actually very, very impressed with this. Um, I gotta admit, that's bright. That is amazingly bright. But yeah, so um, what you'll probably see in the next uh, video is me actually trying out the airbrush. Um, I have, you guys won't even be close to seeing this yet, but I do have my Imperial Guard. I've got them based in black. And next what I've got to do is go over them and uh, give them a nice zenithal of white. I try, try to dry brush them. I don't think it's too bright in the background. I try to give it a gray wipe down. You can kind of see it a little bit. Didn't turn it all the great. So my plan is to go in and give them a nice zenithal from the top down. I've got my black and white primers, all my cleaners and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so there we go. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Good watching anything, but you're watching this. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.